All right, I've bundled up and walked outside so that, that you don't have to. But I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things, but the key image today is sandals. We're gonna be talking about sandals, or maybe the lack of sandals. We're gonna be reading a passage today where Jesus is talking about something interesting. He quotes a psalm of David, Psalm 37, and he says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Another way of understanding this word meek is someone who is humble. Now, what does that have to do with my smelly chacos? Do you guys hear that crow? Okay, maybe they're not. Maybe they don't smell as bad as I thought they do. They will come summertime. Oh my gosh, that bird is so loud. Inherit the earth. Inherit the land. Hmm. So guys, I don't know if you know much about history. If you're a student of history, you know that this particular Jesus saying doesn't seem to hold a lot of water. This is tough, guys, but history is littered with examples of proud people taking the earth from other people. How can Jesus' saying be true? Even the story of our own country, America, has this as part of our history, that we, our ancestors, took this land from other people. Proud people walk around saying, mine, mine, mine. How is Jesus right about the meek inheriting the earth. This is the ancestral land of the Cherokee. Yes, there were people here before us and our forefathers, many of our forefathers, took the land. So how could Jesus' words be true? That the meek shall inherit the earth. For a thought experiment, let's do this. Imagine I walk into your house and you are eating lunch. And I, who am not meek, I am proud, I walk around like I own everything. And so I walk up to you eating your lunch and I take a bite and I take your chair and I take everything I want because I'm not meek, I'm not humble, I'm proud. Would you wanna live like that? Do you think that's the way Jesus wants people to live? Well guys, in our own history, we have a lot of historical pressure to behave that way. That it's almost a good thing when we take what we claim and we call it ours. But that's not what this Jesus teaching is about. Blessed are the meek, blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Well, how does that happen? How do we keep ourselves from being proud and walking around like we own the place? Well, God had an answer related to footwear. Are you ready? Can you see my feet? Okay. so. In Israel, back in the day, people traded land by doing stuff with their feet. Let's take a look. An Old Testament professor, Dr. Christine Palmer, said the foot, specifically the shod foot, kids, that means wearing sandals, is a symbol of status and dominion in the ancient world. One would put enemies underfoot, or more specifically, under their sandals. It also had a lot to do with real estate. When you were marking out territory or trading land, you would use symbolic gestures using your sandal. So they would walk around in their sandals, and the sandal would be thrown, so to speak, and that would mean that they owned the land. I own everything. <laughs> Why do I still have my sock in my hand? God had his priests do something a little different. He had them wear no shoes. That's right. They were unshod. I can't believe I'm doing this, guys. It is really cold. That is snow. This is not a simulation. That is cold. The symbolism of walking around without sandals means that these priests could never get in their head that they own everything. Back to Dr. Palmer, bare feet signify a loss of social status and perhaps even a loss of self. The greatest loss of status and self is the loss of freedom. Let me put it another way, guys. These priests had to stay humble. In fact, they knew that the land was owned by God. So no, God didn't ask everybody to walk around barefoot and I think I'm going to lose a toe if I don't put something on my feet. Woo! So let me try to connect this all together. When we walk around remembering that we don't own the place, that's what it's like to be meek, to be humble, to be aware that God owns all this stuff. We're not gonna walk around saying, mine, 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 mine. And guys, when you live that way, and we don't look at the ways that 
uh, our history and our culture invite us to live that way proudly, saying mine, we end up acting a fool, acting like buffoons. Don't forget how this year started, if you're paying attention. Meek people don't do this kind of thing. And you end up thinking you can take anything because it's yours. So guys, I'm inviting you, as I believe Jesus is, into a barefoot life. Not literally. A life that remembers that we don't need to walk around like we own everything. I don't think that's a good way to live. To live pridefully. To live saying, mine, mine, mine. Let's live aware of our dependence on God. Because ultimately, everything that we ever hope to have is His. The earth is His, the heavens are His, and we are His. The Israelite priests couldn't have stepped outside without remembering that they were to be humble. They were to be dependent on God. They were to be meek. Is there a way that you could live barefoot, so to speak, in your life that you would remember that God is who we depend on, that we're not self-reliant, that we are not to be proud, saying, mine, mine, mine. Let's, in our hearts, become more like the barefoot priests who could not help but remember that they walked upon the earth as humble servants of God. Let's be like that, my brothers and sisters. All right, let's get back inside before we freeze to death.